provide a whole new space, a whole new community um, with uh, that really kind of challenges preconceptions about where different groups of people belong um, and the types of places that they might live and congregate. So we see that there's potential for an opportunity for high income as well as um, moderate and low income people to live here and uh, also to recreate here and to get to know one another. Um, we see that by strengthening gateways and having new building types, we'll be able to have a paradigm that's, that's new to the city of Tampa. Um, so it's a great opportunity to, to bring people together. Um, in bringing folks together, we think that uh, Main Street could be a start. Uh, we talked a little bit about promoting new entrance ways, improving circulation, but by revitalizing Main Street, there are opportunities to bring in new neighborhood serving businesses where people can congregate, where we can promote entrepreneurship, and where folks can just get together and begin to get to know one another. Matt? So part of the redevelopment process is you're changing the physical landscape of a community. But as this process continues and has been said, part of it is also creating a new community identity. So we heard a lot this week about they and those people and them, and we didn't hear a lot of, of we. So the question is, who is going to be the we of from here to the next 20 years to the mayor from now? And we really see the planning process as an opportunity or a catalyst to start this conversation about who is the we, what is the community, what is going to be your identity? How are you, and then that sort of leads to the next question of how do you brand yourself? How do you market this new area? There's a real perception that the area is unsafe and, and underutilized, not the kind of place you want to visit. So what's an immediate strategy that you can use to combat that? Crime fighting. Think about expanding community policing, uh, police patrols, expand the crime watch, use environmental designs to reduce crime opportunities, and then tell the story of crime reduction, combat that myth of danger in the community. And then think about how you can leverage tourism dollars to create websites, brochures, marketing materials. So this becomes a draw, it becomes the place you want to go. So what is the new place and how do you market it as a tourist destination or as a neighborhood for people to live, work, and play? But now we're going to invite up Chris Parr from Denver. You guys hanging in there? Yep. <laughs> How's it going? So you guys are familiar with the neighborhood. You know that this is a concentration of poverty, but one of the great assets the Tampa Housing Authority has over 800 units in the neighborhood. Significant other affordable housing that there might be some opportunities with. Um, you know, but with that concentration of poverty, you guys know that that is part of the opportunity also. And also from the standpoint of uh, concentration, it's not just that's the area for low-income housing, but I think from the embracement of, of Tampa for that condition, it needs to be, that's also, also unacceptable. That, wasn't, that didn't come from a great design in 1940, but now's the opportunity to, to directly uh, eliminate that concentration of poverty. The, you know, we've talked enough about it, but that river in downtown, that this neighborhood needs to be able to, to, to look at the fact that the river obviously is an asset. What does development look like as oriented towards that, uh, towards the river? And I think you've seen a lot of the initial design bringing that uh, those areas through. And downtown, don't look at downtown as over there, but I think that's part of the vision is downtown expands. This is becoming a downtown neighborhood. Um, very lucky to have a sophisticated housing authority. And I hope everyone here recognizes that. That's very, very important so that there's a significant player at the table uh, from the financing, the opportunities, and the land control uh, aspect. Other specialty housing is some of the other observations of what might be possible. Talk about potentially senior housing, utilizing what's going on with Tampa, University of Tampa. And then I think one of the most important things to take away anything else from what I'm going to talk about is that density conversation. And it's uh, it's that point of boldness that we talked about earlier in the form of density. So if you're average of 20 to 25 DU currently, it's not a conversation about do we just increase that a little bit, do we go to 40 uh, dwelling units per acre? But this is recognizing what that point of vibrancy is and where that starts to happen. And to just start, even at a platform of 60, but 60 plus from the density uh, conversation, I think is important to, uh, to start. I wanted to look at uh, 
Uh, Denver, not because I want to talk about Denver, I know we're in Tampa.